Welcome back. This is Charo Cherry, and I'm um, doing a Goosebumps review. Haven't done that one in a while. This is super exciting because we have a new House of Shivers book. Um, Night of the Living Mummy. I will stop shaking that so you can actually see it. Um, the details in the mummy are pretty awesome. And then you have the Egyptian gods in the back. Um, that's Anubis. That is... I forgot the cat's name. And I'm a super ancient Egypt, so I'm sorry. Um... That is the Eye of Ra on there. Um, typical House of Horrors fashion. I said, I meant House of Shivers. Why well, say House of Horrors? Same thing, whatever. Okay, so um, typical House of Shivers fashion and Goosebumps fashion. There's going to be a preview on the book in the back. That's Say My Name, Say My Name. Really, really goofy. Um, Happy Silverman is more than a little excited for his class trip to the museum. He loves learning about ancient Egypt and can't wait to see real mummies at the museum. Happy leans as close to the mummy display as he possibly can and something strange happens. His head spins and he hears an unfamiliar voice ringing in his mind. The mummy is inside Happy's brain and needs his help or else. Um, so this amulet is uh, super powerful and the mummy needs it. He needs to find it. Um, and of course, it gets lost. So... The mummy needs Happy's help to find the amulet, and they run into a wizard. This wizard is uh, super powerful, but the amulet amplifies your magic. Also, it's a time-traveling device, interesting enough. And in typical Goosebumps fashion with mummies and their stories, you get to travel back in ancient Egypt. So that's what happens to Happy in this book. Um, he travels back to ancient Egypt. And he learns the story of what happened to the boy king mummy and they travel back to the future to try to figure out how to stop this wizard um this guy's evil um then after all that's said and done there's the usual plot twist and goosebump uh the plot twist and goosebumps so i was like eh, whatever i wasn't too impressed with the ending on there um everything else was great about this book Especially since I like Ancient Egypt. And if you like Ancient Egypt, you'll love this book a lot. You will love it a lot. I give this Goosebump book an 8 out of 10. Um, out of the three House of Shiver books so far, um, I would say it's probably my second favorite. Um, Goblin Monday was my first. And then the scariest book ever was the third. That one, I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's kind of like all over the place. I don't know. Uh, so far. I haven't really gauged how the series is going to be with the three out. But originally I didn't like these covers. But I really, really like this cover out of the three. Like, I really, really like this cover. It's not as goofy as the first one. Um, the fourth one, I don't know. That's going to be weird. Ah, what is that goofy fish? Um... So you can go to your Barnes and Noble and find this find this book. Uh, it's supposed to be out September third, but it's out on shelves everywhere, I believe, because they broke street dates. Uh, I don't know why the date changed. Uh, it's kind of odd. The Haunted Mask two comics out too at my local Barnes and Noble. I didn't find that, but I've been seeing posts on Reddit that people have been posting about it. It looks really cool. I want to get that as well. Um, but typically, how street dates work, if you put out a product that's supposed to come out, say, next week, and you put it out, say, today, and it's not coming out for another four days, and it sells, the store usually gets fined for, for putting out that product and it's selling. And the person that did that, usually they find out who sold it at point of sale system. And that person gets in trouble, maybe probably written up or whatever, talked to, I don't know. But that's what happens. I used to work retail in the past, and they're very, 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 very strict on, on street dates. But I think because it's popped up everywhere, the RL sign was just like, you know what, release it early. You know, even though it was supposed to be released on September 3rd. So that makes me question, if the new books came out early, will we be getting the new variants this or do we have to wait until October? We'll see. Well, this is Cherry. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hopefully I will be doing a lot more Goosebumps books in, in the future. It just has slowed down with the Goosebumps stuff. Um, 
especially since the such the slow rate that they're releasing. I'm sorry, I'm talking super fast because I'm super excited about this. Um, always more ghost goose goosebumps, ghost bumps, ghost bumps. Do goose bumps get ghost bumps, or do ghosts get goosebumps? I don't know, but this is Chiro Cherry. Again, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye.